This is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're at the 8th Annual Precious Metals Summit in Beaver Creek, Colorado. With me right now is Gordon Neal from New Pacific Metals Corp. It's a publicly traded company. I got two symbols for you, NUAG on the TSX Venture and NUPMF in the U.S. Gordon, welcome to SNN Live. Thank you for having me, Robert. Great to be here. It's great to have you on. So, for our audience, let's start off with an overview of the company, and we'll go from there. Great. Um, New Pacific Metals is in Bolivia. Uh, we have a 50,000 meter drill program going in there. We have the largest drill program in the country. We are actually, and it's an exploration play, however the, the people who are putting it together and the management are miners, we're mine builders, so we're ahead of the, ahead of the curve. What's the history of the company? When did it start and how did you develop to where you're currently at today? The company's actually 10 years old and it's gone through uh, a few iterations. Um, it was a mining company and then it became a holding company. But then when we found this asset in Bolivia, we folded it into the company last year and it's now an exploration company that's very well funded. So I have to ask, you know, not just why Bolivia, but how did you come to finding an asset and say, okay, it, this is interesting and it's in Bolivia? Well. Um, the answer to that is uh, actually China and Bolivia. Uh, China and Bolivia have a, an agreement, uh, an $11 billion line of credit, so there's a lot of Chinese in Bolivia. Uh, the CEO of New Pacific Metals is Ray Fang, who is the CEO also of Silver Corp, and so this asset came to him through the Chinese connections in Bolivia. Bolivia is an underexplored country, but with these connections, we wound up looking at the asset, looking at the numbers that were coming out of the work that they were doing, uh, and, and, had to, and had to jump in. So is, would you say that's a barrier to entry for other explorers that now say, oh, hey, New Pacific is looking in, in Bolivia at different assets, you know, but because you have that Chinese connection, is, there, is it more difficult for people outside of that? to maybe find an asset and start developing it? I mean, I'm just trying to understand the geopolitics of the situation. Yeah, no, the country is, because it's yeah, because it's underexplored and they, haven't, they really haven't had a real solid foreign investment policy, which they're putting together right now, um, anybody can come in now. We have, we have, there have been so much cooperation from this government. I've been, I've worked at the highest levels of government in, in Canada uh, and in the Prime Minister's office, in fact, and I, I've, I've seen this before. These guys are following the Ecuadorian model. They want foreign investment and every single thing we've asked them for, they've given us. It's, um, it's really wonderful to see. And when governments are giving you things, take it. I mean, really. All right, so now to the project itself. You know, I want to lo learn a little bit more about that. What makes it unique compared to maybe other projects similar in scope and size? The first thing is the mineralization starts at surface. Most uh, mineralized, most, most countries like uh, Peru, Chile, uh, Mexico, if you want to find something uh, mineralized at surface, it's gone. It's, you have, everything that we're finding now, and you've talked to all the geologists at this, at this uh, conference, if you want to find something in most countries, you have to go deeper. This has been underexplored. There's nobody, there's, hardly, there's only five public companies in the country. We think it's a turning point for the, for the government and the country. Uh, Ray, kind of um, the CEO, kind of likens it to China uh, 15, 15 to 20 years ago where they're just breaking out. So this is, this is an opportune time and this particular, uh, the, uh, this particular property is just so mineral endowed from the surface, it, uh, it basically just jumps out of the ground. And where are you currently at in your development of the project? Well, we, we started drilling in last October. Uh, we have a 50,000 meter drill program going. Uh, we're probably almost at the end of that. We haven't put out any results yet. Um, and that's a, that's a long sort of a, a, a break in, in, in not putting those out. But what we found was we have three square kilometers of, of land package. Once we started to see how big the system is, we decided, well, we better go out and get some more, get some more land. What's your background? I mean, how did you get into all this? Oh, my background. Oh, I've been uh, in the mining game. I started with, as a VP corporate development for Mag Silver in 2003. Um, I helped Mag grow with Peter McGaw and Dan McGinnis. Um, I'm a science guy by, by nature. I'm a biochemist, so I love elemental combinations. And um, uh, when Ray uh, hired me actually for Silver Corp, um, when he found this asset, he said, I want you to run it. So, um, you know, I, 
I, I'm, I, just, I just love geology. I mean, I can go across a lot of sectors. I've raised more than $500 million for lots of sectors in, 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 in the capital markets business, but I keep coming back to geology. So from what you can tell us, what are some of the company's value catalysts moving now into 2019? So as I said, um, we're looking to get more land, and I'll probably go from three square kilometers to 30 square kilometers. Um, and then after that comes out, after we've gotten that secure, we'll go, we'll, we'll do our, we'll release some numbers uh, from our drill program. We're doing metallurgy now, that'll be done by the end of the year. Uh, we actually start our 43101 on the reserve. We have so many holes that we have, we can actually start that, that process in October. I'm assuming it'll be done, I'm guessing it'll be done by end of Q1, middle of Q2 of next year. And then I would look at uh, hopefully doing a PEA by the end of uh, 2019. And where can our audience go and find more information about New Pacific Metals? Um, on our website, www.newpacificmetals.com. My name is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're at the 8th Annual Precious Metals Summit in Beaver Creek, Colorado. With me again is Gordon Neal from New Pacific Metals Corp., publicly traded company, two symbols for you, NUAG on the TSX Venture and NUPMF in the U.S. Gordon, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. It was great.